Yeah, I know. Sumo is cheating. Oh, hey, Noah here, 1570 Strength. Today, I'm going to show you how to sumo deadlift for a raw lifter. Let's get into it. So in this demonstration, I have the plates capped out about two to three inches from the collar. This is just to show you how to really use this form when you get up into heavier weights. So stance-wise, I like to get people from this part of the knurling to the end of the knurling. And if you want to go wider, you can do that. Go in, you can do that. That's just a good starting point. But either have your feet slightly pointed out, you can kind of come in, or you can go out even more. That's also individualized too. So mess around with that, see which way it works for you. So now that we got our stance width and we have our foot placement where it needs to be, there's three major components that we need to get down for the sumo deadlift. That is the bracing, the slack pull or engaging or anchoring with the hips. After that, we have the thoracic extension that leads to the lockout. And when you're warming up, this is going to look real exaggerated. So if you got a one or two plates, three plates, for me it was always when I got to like five plates, it was really exaggerated. So that first part, you're bracing, okay, coming down, slack pull. From right here, thrice extension and hips. And I'll do it again without talking, so you can kind of see. Engaging the thoracic spine and shoot your hips forward. Really, I like to think about pushing your neck back like that, because if your neck is back, your upper back can't round. Uh, so. You come off the floor, you've done this like pull, then I'm pushing your neck back. Push it back like that. So three takeaways. Brace, slack pull, or anchoring with your hips. That's all in line. Your upper back, your lats, your hips, it's all together. So you're moving through it, boom. That's that's the second part. I've got your brace. This all moves together. Don't be like this. This moves and like this. That's not how you do it. Then we have again thoracic extension. You're pushing your uh, chest forward, neck back. So you're right here. Boom, like that. Uh, this can be kind of applied to a conventional. So you can still do it, it's a little different. So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.